I am Simon Rodriguez Jr., Senior History Social Sciences Education major. My family's from Mexico, so I'm the first generation college student in my family, which is uh, something I take a lot of pride in. And it's, uh, it's something that, um, you know, I think my family envisioned when they came to this country. Obviously, um, not just, you know, my family from Mexico, but a lot of families that immigrate to this country, they are looking for, uh, to give their, their children, the next generation, better opportunities than they had. We have this uh, mentality of like a, a collectivism, you know, of you know the family unit as opposed to individualism, and that's something that when I first got to Illinois State, I was really worried that I wouldn't find, uh, coming from a very uh, strong family-oriented background. But um, I met a lot of people, and through my fraternity and just my friends in general, I found that uh, you know that good family atmosphere that I was missing back home. So I. I I'm proud to say that actually I do have two families, you know, I have my family back home and then I have my family here at school. This university really does value um, diversity. Uh, people from all walks of life, um, you know, your non-traditional students, those that are underrepresented at the college level. Uh, ISU really does go out of their way to make sure that they feel comfortable and that they know that they have a um, great opportunities here on campus and I mean I have a lot of friends who come from those types of communities and what, you, what a lot of people would consider diverse. Illinois State, I think, uh, and the mentality that they have has a lot to do with uh, that, uh, per that percentage growing. This is called Lincoln, the Man in His Time, so it's pretty much a history class about Abraham Lincoln and uh, struggles during Reconstruction and uh, um, just kind of going in depth as to who the, the, the kind of person he was and what he struggled with personally um, about his life, his marriage, so it's a really in-depth uh, class about a specific person in history, which is kind of rare. It's kind of actually pretty cool to have that kind of class in, at a university level. There's a 1901 student to faculty ratio, which I mean, as you can see right now, this class has around like 20, 25, uh, which most of my classes, especially the upper, upper level classes, usually are like that. It's really nice. You do really do get that small uh, campus feel, you know, the, the personalized attention from your professors. So I think that makes, it's really important to have that. I think you did pretty well on the quiz. Now it's time to go eat some food at McAllister's. Uh, Southwest turkey melt with no tomato, please. And the spud, uh, the bacon spud, does that have cheese on it as well? That, please. Just a couple water, please. Here you are, enjoy. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. This looks amazing. Home. All right, guys, well, I need to eat my food in peace, so you guys got to head out, but I will see you at 2 o'clock at my psychology class. So that was a good lunch, and now I'm off to my adolescent development class in DeGarmo Hall. We have finished the first section of our class, so we have done the um, kind of general developmental trajectories. We're now moving on into our second session, which is on the context of development in adolescence. And the first context should surprise you, it's family, family relationships, and influences. You know, I've always had the professors that are willing to take time out of their busy schedules to make sure I understand the material. Um, you know, if I'm not doing too well academically, they're gonna go out of their way just to make sure that I get to, uh, to um, you know, the academic level that I should be at. I was in Mexico this past summer in Cuernavaca. Um, it's a five-minute presentation about immigration, so I know it's a little bit of a controversial issue, so obviously I'm a little bit biased. I'm just going to say that up front, but um, just let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's just some original footage, and then I took a lot of statistics that I found online, added a little bit of satire to it. So My class is called Modern Mexico. It's a history. It's an upper upper level class. It's a really good course. We have uh, we go into a lot of conversations that sometimes might seem a little bit controversial, such as immigration, but it, I think it's important as college students to understand those types of relationships and those types of issues. Um, and for me as a future teacher, you know, I expect to have a lot of students um, that are uh, of Latino descent. And um, I think it's, it's, it's really, really helpful to understand where a lot of uh, the cultural background of a lot of these students including myself, since it's my, a part of my history and my culture as well. That was my last class. I hope you guys enjoyed a typical day in my life as an Illinois State University student. And I invite you to come down to our campus and hopefully one day we can see a typical day in your life as a student at Illinois State University. Thanks.